Okay, here I am with uh, part two of Legacy of You. Last night I played the first game. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited to really jump into this one here um, and get my second game in. I know that this one I expect to be quite a bit harder just due to the fact that um, I'm now going to have... Uh, the food shortage card, um, the fortress card. Uh, yeah, but if you don't have any idea what I am talking about, you should probably watch my last live stream where I played the first game of it. Um, and this is where I will kind of mention that uh, I am doing this reading stories on stream. Uh, it will be full spoilers. I'm just I'm playing the game and streaming it as I do it. Um, so yeah, just a just a fair warning. To, uh, to everybody about that. But yeah, this is a legacy of you. So, and of course, this time I'm not going to do any kind of uh, real teach or anything of the game because um, I kind of expect or assume uh, that if you clicked into part two, you've watched the first one. Um, but if you haven't, definitely, as I said, go check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. Uh, the game, as uh, I had said last night, um, I had played this a handful of times on uh, tabletop simulator, tabletop simulator. Excuse me, uh, maybe four, maybe five times, um, and uh, I really do enjoy the the story elements that they added. Right, uh, I enjoyed the game enough to back it, and then uh, I am just really enjoying these uh, the stories that are coming up and kind of the challenges that they provide. So. Uh, all right. Uh, yesterday's start was off to um, tons of story. I had two stories here. I had two stories here. So it looks like my canal have, uh, slowed the pace a bit. Not as many stories, which is probably okay. Um, speed up the game a little bit. Plus, I can't expect the game to um, have that many uh, story elements every single playthrough. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get everything set up here. And man, again, I you know I mentioned this this organizer here that this thing has is just it's so good. Um, having all the pieces, uh, spots for them, it clearly labeled. Uh, honestly, I can't praise it enough. One of the best little um, organizers I've ever uh, ever used. Do, 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 do. Let's get my what are these outposts? That's it. Uh, yesterday I could not for the life of me think what they were called. I knew these were farms. I knew these were huts. Could not for the life of me think or remember that these were called outposts. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get my townsfolk deck. So what I do know from my last game is that the townsfolk deck, I do have one card uh, that got added that's a bit stronger than normal cards. You, you play the guy and you get two wood. It's pretty cool. Um, but at the same time, I also have an invader uh, that is somewhere in the invader deck that when uh, she comes out, I think it was uh, use any of the any colored workers, um, but she's doing two damage to you every turn she's alive. So uh, that's not going to be fun. Let's do that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Let me. Alright. Alright, just fixing all that. So, shuffle up the barbarians. And uh, <coughs> there's way more townsfolk than there are barbarians. So, uh, I'm almost certainly going to see see that lady um, and you will just who knows when hopefully not uh, right now um, now a part of other setup here is I have this fortress card so I believe I set it like this and so every round the fortress uh, let me go ahead and switch on over to that there we go. So yeah, every round the fortress um, is either doing a damage or I got to sacrifice a warrior. Um, and then to defeat 
it, I have to defeat it and the barbarian at the exact same time. So cost of six workers, three provisions. Uh, yeah, that is that is a lot. There is a story element I'm hoping makes it worth it. Um, over here, I've got my food shortage card um, that I am going to have to do. So i got to spend a fish, a wood, uh, excuse me, a fish, a meat, and grain. Let's just set, what? let's set uh, that book up there, this here. There we go. <clears throat> Um, what else do I need? Oh, I gotta light out my townsfolk. Isn't a Garfield game unless there are townsfolk in some way, right? Townsfolk and provisions. I guess not all have provisions, but a good, good handful have provisions. Um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, Got my history, that's the women defeat cards. Those are the extra of those. Barbarians, bam, I am <clears throat> set up and ready to play. All right, so let's see here. Uh, so let's just start it off uh, getting my beginning income here. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Looks like everything is good. Slide all this here. Just get it a little bit better for the camera. For anyone watching that really, really does care. Um, so yeah, there is all of that. Uh, okay, so get my white worker, get my measly shell, get my one provision. And that is it. Make sure everything else is where it should be. Yeah. Uh, all right. There it is. So I got my uh, two wood guy. Um, I also have two wood here. Now I'm kind of hurting. Um, I can already tell for the fact that I don't necessarily have anything I really want to tuck. If I tuck this um, here and I get a wood and a shell, well that could be good. I can already just see I'm kind of okay on wood in my deck. Um, hmm. Well. Yeah, um, I actually think, hmm, half tempted, I almost never do it, um, but to dismiss him for the brick and build this for a white worker? Even build one of these guys. Hmm. Man, um. Man, uh, what a tough start here. I just don't know. Normally I would tuck the wood, uh, no questions asked. Um. But I would have so much wood. Way, way too much wood, truthfully. Um, I also realize when you dismiss this guy, you get whatever color worker you want. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't quite see that. Let me push everything up. Um, there we go. So. Uh, man, what a, what a tough start. And I know I am going to have to lose something um, so there is also the play of I tuck one of these um, pretty much knowing I'm sacrificing it to the fortress for a while hmm
would almost never play one of these things first. However, maybe I took one of these and do that. I could do that. Um, I took a, one of the yellow. Oh man. I'll, be, I'll just have to be worrying about the flood. It's the only thing. Um, I kind of think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it. We're going to... We're going to play different. For sure. Um, so let's do it. Let's dismiss this guy for a brick. We'll play these guys for three wood. <clears throat> this is for a white worker. And then I'm going to build... Ooh, 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 hang on. I can't actually do that. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, sorry. I thought that was the right play, but now I realize that I would end up still having to tuck this. Unless I tuck for the blue. Man, this is the one I'd really like to tuck if I was doing that. Oh, man, I am sorry that I am being excruciating long on this very first turn. Um, maybe I just don't. I did the same play and got this, a white worker. Because then next turn. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that. So, I'm going to play this. Again for the brick. However, this time I'm going to just take two wood. Um, I'm then going to spend one of each to take the. the white worker. The white worker. Uh, good provision. I am going to tuck this yellow. <coughs> um, yeah, I am going to tuck the yellow, and then I'm just going to take a white and a black worker. And I will put one here to get another provision. And I might as well spend two provisions to recruit these two to the deck. Okay, sorry, it took a while for me to think, figure out exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I should spend this one because I think it's going to be worth the early bribes to hold back the flood. So, I'm going to bribe off with the provision and the worker there. Uh, I'm gonna move this here. 
this goes here, you barbarian here, and then I'm gonna fill up these. Okay, uh, on to my income, I'm going to get four cards. Four cards, two white workers. No, excuse me, one white worker and one yellow worker. And one shell, one per fission. Okay. Um, now, uh, oh, that's back. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and build onto onto the canal and I'm gonna trash a card and get brick and the wood and, and I'm kind of okay since I was able to bribe off the having dismissed one um, it's not too terrible of a place to be um, okay, I unfortunately don't have any white workers, um, and that is a real bummer of being able to build right now. That's all right, we'll make do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck the calorie shown provision here. Um, yeah, calorie shell and provision, um, which kind of stinks because I'm now committed to making this. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll roll with the punches here. Oh, shoot. I can't tuck that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. That was not great. Well. I'm going to have to work with it here. I'm going to get two provisions and two shells from these and get a brick and get a red worker and then just spend the red worker to get a provision hmm. must be alright because really maybe I just keep uh, Keep bribing off. That's probably my best bet. So actually, I think this is okay. Um, I am just going to take all three of these into my deck, pay two provisions for that. Um, I'd really like to get this guy into my deck. Actually, I'd really like to get this guy into my deck, but I don't really want to burn another card right now. Um, do I? No, I'm not going to. We're gonna we're gonna leave it like that. Um, we're gonna suffer our attacks. So I'm gonna pay a provision, a wood, and my yellow worker. fill the row here and uh, that fortress card makes it not convenient to slide for sure okay alrighty um, so let's get my four cards so one the shuffles <clears throat> I know. Uh, I should have gone with... Sorry, Alex. Just saw that, but yes. I should have just went with my gut from the beginning because it's what I ended up doing anyway. 
Um, okay. So, got my four there. Um, taking a yellow, taking a white, taking a shell, taking a provision. Alrighty. So. <laughs> Let's, uh... don't think I'm going to build on this this turn. I think I'm going to try and draw it out and wait. Um, I really do need to defeat this, uh, which is okay. So I've got a black and a white, or I mean a black and a blue worker here. Black and blue. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's going to cost two provisions. I'm going to need to get another black. Um, oh, got my red come back. I could do it from this space. Hmm. Let's spend the three shells. Get a brick. And then I'm going to spend a three brick. Whoops, there's a wrong spot. Three brick, a white worker, and a wood to build this. To get a shell. Now I can get my other black worker and then spend two provisions, a black and a blue to defeat this guy, which is a shell and a white worker. And then let's go ahead and Use the white. Yeah, we use the white to get a provision. And do we use this for a provision? No, we're gonna tuck this one here. And then we'll just use this to get a yellow worker. Um, okay, gonna have to suffer some attacks, but that is all right. Um, so. Didn't build on the barge. We're going to suffer our attacks. I'm going to take two damage, and I will sacrifice a yellow worker to the fortress. Uh, do, 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 do. Refill. Oh, and before I do any of that, actually, I need to buy my uh, people, spend that provision, and I will spend two more for a provision. Just take that one. Okay, there we go. Now fill the row. And I took two attacks. So it's two damage. Paid off the one. Um, how are you liking the game thus far? I've been tempted to pre-order it. Um, honestly, I really like it. I would recommend uh, checking it out on Tabletop Simulator for sure. Um, you can play the game without any of the story elements and just get a feel for the game really which is honestly i recommend doing before the story anyway um but yeah you can, you can play the game without the story elements and i liked the game i thought it was a really good solo game really good resource management game and then yesterday was my first playthrough of it with the story elements and i thought it was really good i thought they did a really good job of just little things it wasn't like super game altering throughout the game um but the little things were pretty cool and then i thought the end of the game effect so like me having this fortress which makes the game harder it is game altering and it is pretty cool so i definitely uh i i really enjoying it um okay so draw my four cards um, and i have to build on uh, the canal this turn uh, let me get my white worker. Let me get my yellow worker. Um, and then I'm getting two shells and two provisions. Two shells, two provisions.
provisions and I forgot to refill here. Okay. Um, yeah, got everything. Um, alrighty. So, I can already tell, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of spare resources. Um, just gonna make it tough to build something after the canal. So let's go ahead and do the canal first. Um, and just get it out of the way. So, so my two and two, move that. Yeah, honestly, I tabletop simulator super fiddly and whatnot, um, and sometimes hard to get used to. But I do think it's invaluable once you have it because there's just man the plethora of games on there. Um, let me take my damage from that before I forget. Get talking. Uh, I definitely recommend Tabletop Simulator. I've done things like Gloomhaven. There's just all kinds of things that you can do on it. I think one of the first games I played on it way back when was Viticulture, right? It, it literally has everything. Uh, okay. White Worker. I could just go ahead and build out here. Yeah, I kind of want to defeat this this turn. Um, and I'm going to build this. So let's uh, let's get my white worker here. And then let's build this farm. Um, as much as I could push for this. Nah. Mm, no, I'm going to build the farm, I think ultimately more beneficial and so let's yeah yeah much more beneficial so white worker brick wood build this farm here uh, i'm going to take a blue and then don't need red for anything right now so let's get another blue um, pay my two provisions two blue a yellow to defeat this one. Give shell. Draw a card. Okay, and there's my two wood guy, um, which I think is good. I'm gonna kind of need that next turn, so I actually I like that. Um, okay, let's just kind of finish out what I got. Let's get my provision. Mm. Let's, let's get my red worker. Let's use it for the provision space. Then we'll just get two wood, two provisions, and a brick. So brick, two wood, two provisions. All right, and what attacks am I gonna have? Something against my brick. Um, Colored worker. I'm probably going to end up taking two attacks. Not much I can do about that. Actually, there's nothing I can do about that. So, let's take it. Do I give up the brick? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give up the brick. I'm going to give up the brick for this. Um, yellow worker here and just take one damage there yeah that I think is my best bet um, okay um, oh and I keep forgetting let me recruit my people to add these okay I took my attacks um, took my attack did my bribes I'm now adding two to the row here Okay, bring this here. I do have to shuffle, so that comes here. All right. 
really need to attempt to defeat two a turn, but that is going to be difficult because I'm losing so much. I really need to defeat that fortress. And let's see what we got. Wow. No white workers. Hmm. Okay. So, we got my one white worker. Not enough to do much. Um, I'm getting two provi or two shells and two provisions. A yellow worker. guess these are kind of the ones I actually can defeat that's another white worker so if I'm defeating those let's take another yellow my issue is I don't have oh I do have a way of getting a black um, this will get a black. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's start it off getting two provisions. Um, do I discard this to draw a card? I think I might. I think I may. All right, Paul. Uh, that's good. Tougher spot than I'm in. I knew this fortress would be hard, uh, but it really is uh, draining my resources. Um. This is going to let me draw a card, so maybe I do that first. Um, so, man, I think I am going to dismiss this to get a black and draw a card. It's a crapshoot, but we'll see. Okay. There's another way to get a white worker. Because I'm thinking if I could build on this, this turn. Um, I really want to do. So. Don't think I'd end up with enough workers. Let's go ahead and defeat that that one. Spin two. Get a shell. I was able to produce tons of white early and got rid of it on the second canal. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Um, yeah, I am not in that favorable spot. Um, oh, and there is another white worker. Okay. So... The thing is don't think I can do it this turn regardless and I'd have to sacrifice this guy <laughs> I think it's gonna have to be next turn that or I 
I try and uh, get rid of that fortress. That might be the play too. Yeah, I may try that. So let's just get a white worker here. And let's get my two wood here. Let's get the brick here. Yeah, you know what? This is okay. I'm not I'm not mad about this and the brick here. Um Okay. I will um, do this to get uh, black. I'll spend the three provisions Oops. to do this. I should not have had an extra black. I shouldn't have these red. There we go. Uh, okay. Um, that to get a provision. And I'm pretty sure just add to my deck. Do it. Add. Add this. Pay two for a provision to add this. Man, I think I can sit right here. And I might. Man, I don't know. I'll either build on the canal or I'll have to defeat this. Um, one of the two. Um, but I know this turn I'm going to take some attack. So I'll pay a brick to bribe. I'll pay two shells to bribe. Um, and I'll take one attack. And let's go here. Here, okay. I'm gonna refill this row. Do, do. Okay, bring these guys back. Draw my four. Two, three, four. Hmm. Um. Okay, get my white. Get my yellow. Um, get two shells and two provisions. Two shells, two provisions. Well, I don't think I'm knocking this out this turn. Um, so I think. I think I just build here. Yeah. So spend three um three shells. <clears throat> build here. Uh, I take two attacks. And a brick. Um, okay. I actually think I'm going to not build the hut get more workers um, so let's do this get a provision in the shell And I don't 
didn't quite plan that right. I'm going to I'm going to end up getting behind on barbarians. Hmm. Okay. So Yeah, I can only defeat one. Um, so let's get a black. Um, I think I have to dismiss this, unfortunately. I don't have to. Hmm. Hmm. Um, well. Blue gives me a black one. That didn't go there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's use the blue. Get a black. Um, yeah, and then we'll defeat this for three provisions. Get two shells and a brick. Um, I will then build this. Yeah. Oh, I have to spit on these guys. Um, yeah, let's get this. I'm gonna build this. Three and one. Two story. Please be good. I doubt it though. Uh, no, what am I doing? Okay. Well, it's my first story element uh, so far. 31. The camp grows more and more each day. Workers pour in from the surrounding lands. Some sent by the emperor. Others have nowhere else to go. It is heartbreaking, but I must continue in my work. We must make, room, make more room. File. In the history... Find cards one through three and file them in the box under huts and canals for future games. Interesting. One, two, and three. So just add some more uh, story stuff. That was it. I'm alright with that. Simple. Um, here. I can't tuck it. I wish I could tuck it. Um, I really wish I could tuck it, but I can't. Man. I'm going to take both. The white... And then yellow, I'm actually just going to dismiss it. Yeah. Um, this will gain me a provision. And I'll use this one for a provision. Hmm. Man, I'm going to have to take some damage. I hate that. Actually, I might as well do this for a break. 
brick is better to sacrifice. So I have a brick. I've got this. Let's just take one damage. Mm. I am in a very tight spot. Just had my best win to date. Flood's only in the fifth slot. That's nice. Uh, I think I'm going to have a loss. Uh, sad about that. Um, but I am just feeling behind. And if I try and kill this fortress, I'm going to get even further behind. So we'll see what happens, but not quite feeling it. Uh, okay, so there's my brick. I'm going to do four of these guys. And, and then one damage. Oh, and I meant to recruit. I can only afford to recruit two. Definitely these. That goes there. And took my damage, got to shuffle. And my deck is very small. So worst case, even if I lose, I'm going to attempt to kill that fortress because there's a story element and I'm hoping it gets rid of it for future games. That's what I'm going for. Um, okay. Bring these guys back. Let's get my hand. One, two, three, four. And move this. Okay, um, white worker, yellow worker, two shells, two provisions, two shells, two provisions, oh, oops, just refill this. <laughs> I really think that I just commit to killing this thing, even if it dooms me. Be dang near all my workers. I think let's do it. Let's kill it. Be done with it. Stop worrying about it. Yeah. Um, so, in that case, I'll take a red. Man, I feel like I'm giving up if I do that. What else could I do? I could kill this and I have to spend a lot of provisions to kill anything else. Yeah, I think killing the fortress. I think I'm in a very, very bad spot, um, so I may as well do the fortress. So let's do it. Um, what do I need? I need one more provision. Let's use this guy. Provision and a shell. And this guy for the white worker. And let's just see what happens. Spend my three provisions. Uh, three yellow workers, red worker, three white workers. Uh, this for sure sets me back to where I cannot win, but that's all right. We're gonna get three shells. One, two, three. That takes care of you. And then I read number 45. <clears throat> for weeks they taunted and raided from their walls this bastion of chaos and rebellion but today today their fortress fell the dragon of, of our warriors surged and surged again beating at the fort like fang and claw 
I know not if it was the lack of supplies or warriors to hold the walls, but the gates finally fell and my soldiers bust through like a river breaking its banks, routing the barbarians that remained. We were not without loss, and that cost is always high, but those who have fallen fought for their emperor and all who live here. But glorious death does, but glorious death does not hold fortresses. We have taken too many losses, and the enemy may come again. We cannot stay here and must withdraw. I cannot risk being caught on the road by pursuers. I have asked Bo Yi to take some workers and undermine some of the fortress defenses before joining us. Sadly, I have no doubt that the barbarians will take refuge here once more. But if we must come back, let it be harder for them to hide. So I file the fortress in the box under history. Thank goodness. Hopefully it doesn't bring out something worse. Find 38. Hmm, looks like another fortress. In the story, I follow the box under other setup. This is a weakened fortress card. Heck yeah. It will be added to your next game. The same rules apply as the previous fortress. I like it. Slightly easier fortress next time. Other setup. Okay, uh, yes, that was a major setback. Now the other thing I could consider doing is also getting rid of this, so I don't have to jack with this next game too. I like that idea, especially since I have pretty much made it where, I guess technically I could beat this. Coming up very resource positive in doing so. Hmm. I really think I'm Still hard, but better. Yes, I agree. Um, definitely better. Um, so I know I'm losing this game, right? And my thought is, do I try and clear this too? Get rid of all these stupid story elements that like are holding me back. Um, I guess if I do this, it buys me more time than if I don't my best way of thinking about it, I think. So let's do that. Let's uh, get a yellow worker. Um, get this to get a red worker. Blue. Um, and I have to spend four shells on a provision, unfortunately, um, to then four shells on two provisions. Excuse me, to kill this guy, and that gives me two shells back and wood. But I have an overwhelming amount of. And that is, maybe I trash this, no, nah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so still I'm going to tuck there, but whatever. Um, which means I really should have built this, whatever. Uh, okay, so for attacks, that will be damage. Here is two of those. There's a wood I will gladly sacrifice. Oh. I should bring this into my deck. I'm just going to bring one into my deck. Uh, yeah. Oh. 
And there's that lady I was not looking forward to seeing. I'm just glad she didn't come out right on top of the fortress earlier. I would have lost for sure. Because I haven't gotten it yet. I think you might be referring to this food shortage card. Uh, it's a bummer. It's another thing you have to do to win. That's the best way to swing it. So you have to you have to do the full canal, but you also have to uh, give up three uh, cards throughout the game to win. So if you don't do that, you don't win. Uh, okay, I think I did everything. I think I did my attack. Now I'm questioning it. Paul will let me know if I did my attack now. I think I may not have. I got to talking. Not that I'm winning anyway, but I don't think I... I don't know. Paul, tell me if I did my attack. It's a random card anyway, so I'll just do it from the top. Uh, wow, these are not great. I just don't have a lot of workers in my deck, which is a problem. Uh, okay, there's my four. Let's get my white and my yellow. <coughs> and bring that back. Get two provisions, two shells. spot um, I'm in a terrible spot and I don't know that I can finish this and I'm pretty sure I have to build on the canal um, Perfect draw. Mm. I do need to get my colored worker. I don't think I can kill two. So I'm pretty... Don't think I can pay all the bribes. Just go out with a bang here. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Man, I really wanted to finish this card. I don't think I did the attack, so we'll sacrifice that. Um, okay, so that here I would have to pay off all the bribes exactly to have a chance here. Um, let's see. Let's try it. I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to discard this guy. All I really care about doing is attempting to get this done. I'd be sad if I can't do that. Um, that, and any colored worker, which does not matter too much. Yeah, we'll pay two for another provision, pay three provision, get rid of this one. Draw this card to my hand, which 
which is not a fish. So I don't think I could do it. Um, technically have one turn. One turn and I need to draw exactly a fish, a meat, and a wheat. I can pay this, I can pay this, I can pay this. Get a red. Turn it to black. Pay that. What? I'm sorry, I can buy one more turn. Let's use that to turn that to black. And then... This is my provisions. I think I can technically buy one more turn. Provisions. Use this. A red and a white. No, I can't take this one. I'd have to draw a card. So instead of a black, I need that to be blue. Sorry. Go back there. Um, I need that to be blue. And then a provision in a shell. Oh, I'm just barely hanging on. Um, okay. And then... I will spin this in a provision to make that red. Spin two provisions to defeat this one. There's two. A brick. Um. Oh no. No. Yeah, okay. And then I have to use this to get a white worker and two shells to turn that provision and turn that into a black so I can pay that stupid bribe. So I can pay that, pay that, pay that. See what happens. Bought myself one more turn. Um, and all I'm really trying to do is pray I draw a fish, a meat, and a wheat. So. Let's do our bribes, uh, which is wood, that, whoops, that and that. Move these down, get these out. This here, just gonna do a quick shuffle. This should be the last turn. Oh, look at that. It's exactly what I needed. So, uh, this is definitely the last turn since I'm sacrificing all my cards. Um, let's get my stuff. I get a white, a yellow, two shells, and two provisions. Um, and then let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that, which gives me a shell. And then let's do that and I read number 23 I know I know that's like I've committed to losing this I might as well clear what's hopefully gets rid of that card but odds are it's just gonna tell me I need even more food storage um, our stores are only just managed 
Our stores only just managed to get us through the winter, but every stomach is full and the workers are healthy enough to carry on our work. I have assigned more foragers to search wider from re for resources. We have come a long way to redeem the losses from the fire the losses from the fire that swept through our camp, but there's still need for more. Each year the camp grows, as does mouths to feed. With all the coming and going, it is hard to find time to figure out just how the fire started. I have assigned Bo Yi, my faithful and dedicated assistant, to investigate. He seems to believe we are still losing food from the store and has made it his mission to solve this trouble for me. Still no sign of demon monkeys. So I get to file this in history. Um, place these in the discard pile. Find 27. Mm. Not good. I did all that to get another food storage card, shortage card. This new one will also need to be completed in order to win and will remain in play until completed. However, this one, uh, there's a story element every single time. I guarantee you this is all bad. <laughs> but hey, uh, we'll put that there. Yeah, well, that's, I was kind of hoping like the Fortress is a smaller one because actually that is, that there was my second food shortage card. So I've already done it twice now and now I have a third one. So, you know, this is what it is. Um, this new one will need to be completed in order to win your next game or remain play until complete. So that is uh, that is that. Um, okay. Uh, I am about to lose the game. I also don't know if it matters whether I lose to flooding or barbarians. Hmm. Actually, no matter what I do, I lose to Barbarian? No. No, that's not true. Well, let's, let's lose to, uh, let's lose to Flooding, because truthfully, when I play, that is the least common way that I lose. So, um, I need to get my Colored Worker. Let's just make it a Yellow for Ease. Let's turn this into a Blue. Uh, let's pay two for a provision. Actually, I need a provision here. So that's fine. Uh, and then pay three provision these guys to defeat this. And really, I can't do much else uh, this turn. Um, so I would suffer attacks, which means I need to shuffle. And this comes here, and I lose. There are different passages depending on how you lose. Hmm, okay, well, I'm losing Flood. That is the way I'm choosing to lose. It's my choice. Uh, okay, so, yeah, because I guess you're right. What does it say? I need something different. End of game. Due to Flood, if the Flood moves on to the unbuilt section. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's in this card. Let's see. There's my first defeat card. Uh, ooh, I see. Flood, number 50. I see, it is much different, I assume. Um, it's probably, I, now that I think about it, it's probably... I should not have done that. It's probably going to give me something that makes building canals easier, which I don't actually typically have an issue with. Uh, I would rather have something that holds barbarians back. Eh, whatever. Um, steadfast Tashini, my mood has lifted today. It started dark and foul at the storms that bring the floods, which I must battle day after day. The floods have come, and I have had to withdraw to the hills to wait out the bitter work. 
During these times, I often think of all those displaced by the floods as they rage across our land. Whole farms and villages are torn apart, and all those people must wait as I do not do until they can resume their own work. Today I have sa- I was saved by such a group of workers. They came to the hill seeking shelter from the torrent in the, of the valleys and found it here in our camp. After a little discussion, they revealed that they have skills which will be of use and have decided to stay into the coming year to work with us in this grand endeavor. Perhaps their contribution will make the difference this time. It is true that in hardship we will see new friendship. File this under history. Find cards 29 through 33 and shuffle them into the townsfolk draw pile. 29, 33, 1, 3, 2, 33. Ugh, I do not like those townsfolk. <sighs> Into the, for future games. These townsfolk have a special food icon. Oh, they can be any of the things. They may be used as any one food type. If you have not discovered a use for food icons, their their use will be revealed soon. Well, I have, so. Um, interesting. So they all draw a card and provide a shell. Uh, honestly, not the type of workers I would typically like, but hmm, it is what it is. Uh, make sure I got that right. 29 through 33. So those are going into here. And that is it. That was game number two of Legacy of You. Um, I at least stormed the fortress. I at least cleared out one food shortage card. So uh, we're going to take that as a win. And yeah. uh, I think that's it. That's that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying this, right? Um, So I probably will continue to stream the campaign. Um, It really just depends. Depends on what people like. If you're watching this after the fact, tell me. Tell me if you liked it. Uh, Sorry that this one took a little bit for me to kind of get going. I had a bad start. Um, But we... uh, we made it through the game without winning, but that's all right. I, I think that's the way the game's supposed to be. It's supposed to balance like that, right? So now I have a weaker fortress and I guess some cards that will uh, hopefully help me some. So, uh, But yeah, that is everything. We will see y'all on the next one. Later.